here we are. So today we are doing a vlog in central London but going two different directions. So we've made it to central town. Uh, Rob's going to go to the park to see the squirrels. I'm going to do some shopping. Visit Disney store, see what we've got going on. And you'll get a bit of both. See you soon. Hello there. So as the title suggests, we're doing two different things today. I'm central London doing Disney store and walk through town, see what it's like. And then Rob is off to Green Park to play with the squirrels. Uh, good day. Uh, I'm in Green Park today. I just left Darren on the tube. He was going up to Bond Street and I got out at Green Park and I am looking for squirrels to feed. So I need to go find some more. And back today. So I'm going to go into the Disney store shortly. Uh, let's see what we've got. Uh, today's t-shirt is a lovely Leia in her Vespin gear. It's one of my favourite t-shirts. Thank you. 
G'day. Hello there. I'm Ozzy Robbo. I'm English Gent. And as you've just seen, we've had a day out. Two different journeys. I went to my usual haunts of Disney Store. And what did you do? I went to Green Park and I was feeding the squirrels. Fondling the squirrels. Uh, no, his favourite pastime of yours is to go to the parks and basically spend time with squirrels and very little critters. Trying to find them and feed them, yeah. Which you enjoy. Yeah. Sometimes I like to enjoy, just not as much as you can. But no, so um, yeah, we've had quite a lovely day. Um, I went to Disney Store, great staff, great setup they've got with the whole uh, pandemic precautions, etc. Um, I've got some surprises. I've, I've got a haul. I can barely wait. <laughs> yeah, do you have any guesses as to what it could be? Disney stuff? Well, maybe. So. I decided to invest in one of these great little bags they give with offers. So this is like $9.99 with purchases over a certain amount. Uh, but they're quite good for things like picnics and just storing stuff. So yeah. Another Disney bag. Another. On top, on top of the 20 you already own. Good for shopping. Um, so yeah, first things first. 
Oh, and also, we actually got home to find a delivery as well from um, Shop Disney from the US, which I'd actually forgotten I'd ordered four weeks previous, and it took a long time to get. So I've got some surprises there as well. So let's have a look. So first off the bat, we went, well, I went to the upstairs um, sort of fan section, which concentrates on Star Wars and Marvel. Um, you, you've been there before, you like it, but it's kind of different. It's completely different to the Disney sections downstairs. It's okay, it's quite basic, but yeah. It's, it's right. basic, but it's got like things that we like, Funkos and Marvel Legends. Speaking of which, uh, in the sale, they had this beauty. So, keeping on the theme of what you were doing that day, <laughs> we have the amazing Squirrel Girl <laughs> with Moped. Um, it's not a character I'm really fully aware of, um, but she was on sale. I think actually she, now she's even cheaper. Um, she's about 18 quid, but I got her for about 26 quid. So uh, yeah, um, she comes with a moped and her squirrel friends. I'm assuming she has awesome powers over squirrels and nuts. I couldn't even tell you what she does, to be honest. But I just thought she was really cute and really cool. And we collect Marvel Legends. Um, we have Marvel Legends stored away at the moment, but we're going to display them at some point. And all our collection is usually X-Men based. Um, but yeah, I thought the kind of moped was a nice little touch. And the squirrels, you can use the squirrels however you like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, keeping in the theme of sales, um, they actually had something I was after already in the sale, and it comes in four parts. Bit of a hint there, hold those. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, um, I'm the only coffee drinker in this household, and we've had a clear out of our sort of kitchen recently to make room for... Not that much room. Not that much room. So if you want to start on doing... I've really liked the um, paint, ink and paint collection, or paint and ink collection. Um, this is kind of like a, an ongoing theme they've got there. And they've got this series of mugs which are on sale, and I actually thought they were really nice. Um, so then keeping with the animation sketch style, similar to when you go to Art of Animation. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of four different characters over four different mugs, and they're stackable as well. Um, first one is Tink, and she goes all the way around there, lots of different poses and facial expressions. Which one have you got? Uh, Dumbo. Dumbo, and again, they each have like a identifying inside colour, so they've got like a nice glaze. There's yours like a bluish grey sort of grey. Yeah. But I, I like having sets of mugs rather than just random single mugs, so it's nice to have a set if people come around to visit. Which one have you got? Chip. This is the cup, yeah. The Chip <laughs> from Beauty and the Beast. And then I've got Eeyore with his um, various miserable looks. And I'll, we'll put some footage in, as you'll see, um, of the actual close-up stuff so you can get a good look at it. And he's got like a sort of like a, um, a purpley, like light purple violet sort of color inside yeah they're quite nice earthenware quite mm. significant and look more mugs great um and yeah then we got so that was all i got from disney i was going to get a few bit other bits but i thought no better stop <laughs> because i could just see your face always think i always stop, yeah yeah I always think of rob's face when i reveal uh, what i bought that day so in regards to the um shop disney um, it's the first time I've actually ordered from the US Direct. It was actually really expensive like to get them. First of all, the shipping is ridiculously expensive to get from Shop Disney. Um, do you... No, I'm not even going to tell you. Um, Don't tell me, no. But also, I did get discount on the actual sale itself of the, of the items on this website, but it took ages. It, took, it actually took over a month right. for them to even sort of process it and put it through and send it. And they actually cancelled a few of the items on there, so you're kind of glad about that. Some of the Funko items I ordered, they actually cancelled it even though they got it in stock. Um, so yeah, there's one. Now these are something that we, well I've seen 
on the website, but you can't actually get in this country. And it's actually park specific. It's the A to Z. It's the Disney Parks A to Z collection. And even though I, I wasn't bothered about getting our initials, it wasn't really a. I was wondering who M was. Although mine is <laughs> a D. Um, so mine is the Dapper Dans. I really like the whole Dapper Dans thing. Actually, I like that whole entry where you have the main street and the, the style and all the different performers they have there, but the Dapper Dans really stick out for me. Um, I actually followed the artist um, on Instagram, so I'll, I'll put a link down below. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with these. Uh, again, if you go on eBay, they're really exp they're like sort of 30 quid on eBay, and, and that's not including postage. Right. So I got them for the normal price, um, which was, I don't have a price on it, about $14, something like that. Um, but yeah, the illustrations are all done by the same artist, and the, each letter has something significant to either Disneyland or um, Disney World. Dapper Dan's and Main Street, I just thought keep it in the theme. Yeah, keep it in the family. And then finally, it's a little thing. And actually, it's not really Disney, it's Star Wars. Um, so, this is the limited release uh, Galaxy's Edge uh, Millennium Falcon pin badge which just came out recently um, I nearly forgot to get it that's just well, that's what I actually mainly went to get and then I got sidetracked with all the other items on the website uh -huh. but yeah that's I thought it was really nice it's like a simple one unfussy but quite stylized and kind of it is a nice design yeah yeah it is a nice design and you've started collecting pins more recently as well yeah I've got a I've, I've got a few pins off eBay that I've kind of gone for yeah quietly he got them very um, so there's been a few surprises Star, I haven't seen Star them Wars yet. related ones I haven't seen them yet so it's going to be a nice surprise but we'll show those in another haul later on um, coming up uh, yeah, but yeah nice. I, it was yeah I, again it was just nice to sort of try and get some stuff which we couldn't get over here I like I won't do it on a regular basis because like I say it's too expensive um, but we knew we weren't going to be going to see Galaxy's Edge so I thought why not and keep the pin collection growing because um, that's what it seems to be doing. Um, but yeah, so we had a good day. Yeah, it was like nice. Yeah, was, I got some photos and you bought a lot of stuff. I bought a lot of crap. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be doing more hauls um, in the coming weeks because we've got lots ordered that's come in. And we? <laughs> I've got a lot ordered that's coming in. Um, but yeah, keep watching. And if you want to subscribe down below, make sure to like. And you can also follow us on Instagram and Twitter, uh, Robbo and Gent on Twitter. And what is our Instagram? Ozzy Robbo and the English Gent. Ozzy Robbo and the English Gent. <laughs> and uh, yeah, follow us on there because we'll be putting up photos, like close-up photos of all the things we've bought as well. Okay. See you next time. Bye. Bye.